Hi there, my name is Austin. I'm the developer for FreeRoom, and I wanted to do a quick walkthrough of the app to help you get acclimated to it. So you'll see right here we've got the main map with a bunch of different icons on it. At the bottom left there's a legend that'll tell you that the uh, orange icons are free campgrounds and the green are paid campgrounds. Up top there's a search bar. So if we tap on that we can search by location. So let's look for campgrounds in Idaho and it'll pull up all the campgrounds in Idaho and the surrounding states. Up top there's also a filter bar with a bunch of different options to filter campgrounds by. So we will start with price. So we want to only show free campgrounds right now so we'll do a max price of zero. And then you'll see it narrows it down to just the orange ones. You've also got cell signal so if we want to see campgrounds that have at least two bars of Verizon LTE we can filter by that, which narrows it down quite a bit. Uh, there's a weather filter, so if we want to see campgrounds where in July the average high temperature is less than 80 degrees, we can filter those, which is just showing the, uh, I guess the high elevation ones in Idaho and Montana. We could also filter by the current 7-day forecast, so if we want to show where the max temperature in the next seven days is less than 85. You'll see it shows some different results. And then you can also filter by, for example, distance to a dump station. So finding places that are, let's say, within 30 minutes of a grocery store. Uh, crowdedness, road difficulty, shade, all that good stuff. But we'll go ahead and click on one of these campgrounds here. North Fork Bigwood River and get some more information about it. So we've got pictures, uh, the rating, cell signal, and then a bunch of different sliders from people who leave reviews that tell about the uh, how crowded it is, how full it is, noisiness, shade, cleanliness, safety, and road difficulty. And then at the bottom we've got average weather. So the average temperatures and precipitation by month as well as the current seven day forecast. And then uh, this one has a, a video on it as well. Then we can go over to the reviews tab and see some more information about what people left about this uh, campground and some more photos as well. And then the nearby tab, which shows the uh, closest dump stations, grocery stores, propane, uh, laundry, everything you need. So this one's actually pretty convenient. It's got this. Uh, dump station right by it that has dump, potable water, or potable water, uh, trash, and uh, everything you need pretty much. So that's it for the campground pages. We'll back out of that and we'll go ahead and zoom out here and go to some of these other data points that we've got. So we've got overnight locations. These are uh, typically companies that allow you to park overnight. So Walmarts, Cracker Barrels, Cabela's. Uh, and if you want to show just Walmarts, you can tap on Walmarts. Uh, if you want to show you know, just Cracker Barrels, you can tap on that as well. Then we'll go back here. Another thing I want to show you, if you have two different types selected, it'll show them both on the map. And if you want to switch between the filters for those types, there's a little filters drop down on the left. So now we'll go to facilities. So these are, I've got a filter on right now. These are dump stations, uh, places you can shower, uh, water, propane, all that stuff. Uh, if we want to just show, for example, places you can shower and you have like a Planet Fitness membership, you can show just the Planet Fitnesses across the U.S. And then next we'll go to hazards. So these are two different things. There's wildfires. So these are active wildfires and the information that we have about them as well as uh, actually we'll, we'll do this. So wildfires, these are the overlays for free roam, which I'll talk about in a little bit, but we can show a fire smoke overlay, which will show any smoky areas of the U S right now, which isn't super smoky right now up in Alaska. There's some from, uh, from some wildfires up there. But at certain times of the season, you might want to check this in case you don't want to be going to a campground that's pretty smoky. 
And then there's also fire hazards. So these are areas where there's like a red flag warning, um, where it's very hot and dry, and uh, fires are, are more likely to happen. If you want to avoid those areas, or if you want to know that you need to be especially careful. Um, so that's all the wild, wildfire stuff that we've got. And then there's low clearances. So these are uh, tunnels and bridges that are low clearances. So if you have a rig that is, for example, 10 foot 6, you can filter it down to show only the low clearances that are 10 foot 6 or less. Just areas to avoid. Um, that's it for hazards. So we'll go ahead and turn off all of these data points and just have the, the plane map. And then we'll turn off fire hazards and fire smoke and we'll show you the uh, BLM overlay. So these are uh, highly accurate. You can zoom in as far as you want to get the actual boundaries for Bureau of Land Management land. Uh, and you can actually show satellite as well. So you can look for areas that are BLM land and see if you can find any uh, campgrounds that aren't actually listed on free roam. In addition to that, there's a cell signal overlays. So you can find areas where Verizon cell signal overlaps with BLM land if you're looking for areas to camp over there. And then you've got USFS land as well. So this is the National Forest. And there's a little bit more to these ones as well. So if you zoom in on an area and you tap on the forest land, if we have a motor vehicle usage map for it, it'll show here on the bottom. And these are PDFs that are provided by the ranger districts uh, that we overlap onto the map where the, the map actually is. So I'm going to turn that overlay off. And these are actually useful because they'll have a lot of times information about dispersed camping. So you'll see on the legend over here, any road that has these dots along it, uh, dispersed camping is allowed. So we'll go back over here and zoom in. So you'll see that dis dispersed camping is allowed on these roads. And then I can turn on satellite. So this is the really advanced stuff. Um, there's layer settings as well where you can drop the opacity on these certain layers. So I'll drop the opacity on this motor vehicle map layer and I can actually look on here for potential spots along this road that allows dispersed camping. So right now we're actually camped along this road. Uh, I think we're camped right in here. Um, which has, you know, firing and all that kind of stuff. So you can just find different spots through this as well. Um, and then if we turn this back on and tap on this, we can actually get layer info. So it'll show all the different motor vehicle usage maps for the area, as well as the name of the ranger district if you want to contact them. So again, that's the, this, this end is more of the advanced stuff, uh, but I wanted to show it in the walkthrough at least. So I, I hope that this is useful for you. Um, if you do have any questions, head over to the social page and the boondocking group and post a message in chat and we'll, we'll get back to you.